So in this video, we are going to make this post-apocalyptic environment inside Unreal Engine 5. This is not going to be a step-by-step -step video. It's rather going to be like the breakdown of the whole process from start to finish. So you're going to get a better understanding like about like how things work and how everything is put together, like the whole environment. Okay, so before I start, I would like to thank all the people who support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. And if you guys want to support the channel again, I'll leave a link down to my Patreon page. Okay, so first we're going to add some lights and we are going to do that by using the environment light mixer. So I added the direction light, the exponential height fog, the sky atmosphere and the skylight. This is going to be like the preliminary lighting of a level. After that, we are going to create a landscape. So before we start blocking out our environment, we need to add the third person character as a scale reference. So scaling is very important in environment art. And after that, you can start blocking out your environment. And I'm going to use basic shapes to block out this environment. Again, this is going to be a cinematic environment. So I'm not going to worry about like gameplay, like level design, right? Because we're going to make this for a cinematic. So I'm going to place these two cubes right here. These are where my cars are going to be placed. And I'm going to place some buildings right here. So I'm going to block that out as well. So I'm just scaling, rotating and positioning these cubes. And this is just going to be a rough block out. Things will obviously change in the final environment. So once your block out is done, you can start placing your assets in the level. So all the assets I'm using are from Sketchfab or Quixel Megascan. So all the credits are down in the description. So I have some few car meshes and I'm going to place them like that. So I have some building meshes right here. I'm going to place these buildings like that. Now this is like an iterative process. So this is a back and forth process. And again, this is not for gameplay. So we are not restricted by the level design. So I'm going to select these, duplicate them. And you can like place these buildings in the background as well like just for shadows and like for lumen basically now i'm going to add this asset right here Now let's change the lighting. Lighting is like one of the major factors which can break or make your environment. So it is very important that you like play with your lighting and set up your lighting. I found this cool brick material from Quixel Megascan. So I'm going to add that right there. And as you can see, I'm using only one asset in the whole environment. Like this is just one ground scatter asset. Okay, now let's add some details to the building. So these buildings are not looking as they are like worn out, right? So to quickly add grunge and wear and tear to your objects, you can use decals. So decals are very quick and easy to use.
Okay, so next we're gonna add some ivy grown on the building. So if you have seen like any post apocalyptic environment, right? There's a lot of nature growing on like man-made objects. And as you can see, decals are very powerful. Like you don't need to add actual meshes for like objects which are like distant. I'm going to add the same decal to the car as well. Now let's add some water puddles on the ground. So this is again a decal from Quixel Megascans. It's a decal with like a very low roughness value. Okay, so next let's add some foliage. So go to the foliage panel and you can drag all your foliage assets there. And then you can paint your foliage. So first I added some fern assets. And after that I added some grass clusters. I also added some tree assets. These are from the mega scan trees. So in the end, I replaced my default lighting setup with the ultra dynamic sky. So lighting plays a very important role while creating environments. So make sure that you light your scene properly. Again, this is a raw render. You can take this in DaVinci Resolve and do a bunch of post stuff. But I wanted to keep this video simple. So I hope you learned a lot about environment art and yeah that's it so if you like this video leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more videos like this that's it I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.